Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, it's exciting to be with you this week. Here we are uh, heading into the last month of summer as we are moving through the month of August and we have already been able to see a number of exciting things happen with donor events, donor activities, summer trips, summer activities that uh, we've been able to bring our partners to uh, different parts of the country, different parts of the world. And so uh, the summer has been a great time for our organization to be able to appreciate and to thank our partners for all the work that they're doing. And I hope it's been a good time for you to connect with your partners and to see some exciting relationships built. This channel was created to specifically help nonprofit leaders in the area of development and fundraising. And Jim and Java is designed to answer the questions that you have. And I am so thankful that you take the time each week to submit questions to me so that we can get some answers for you. Let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question of the week is from Brian in Atlanta. And Brian asks, what would be the content if I could pull off a summer social event with donors? Well, Brian, thanks for that question. And it's a great one. Uh, summertime is a great time to do events with donors. And since you submitted this email, and I know that you've already set up an event at the end of August, and as a result, uh, your question is still very relevant. And the content for an event like this would be a, an update of the kinds of things that you are planning for the last quarter, especially of the calendar year. If you've got an organization that is uh, cir uh, circles around at all the school calendar, whether that be a high school, a collegiate organization that reaches out and makes a difference in the lives of young people, certainly you're thinking about what's going to happen at the start of a school year. If you are focusing in on the end of one year and beginning another year, those are the highlights that you're going to want to focus in on. Now, you want to make sure that if the individuals in that room have been making gifts to your organization over the last year, you want to report back on some of the successes. And in fact, if you can even have some individuals in attendance whose lives have been changed, as I mentioned, if you had a high school or collegiate organization, if you had a rescue mission, if you were delivering water filters to impoverished countries, could you bring either live via video or even virtual, could you bring some of those people and pipe them in to the event, uh, that would bring a greater impact on the event itself. And make sure that you highlight the not only the lives that were changed, but the outcome, the results of overall programs, projects, or uh, presentations that you may be having or that you did over the year. Uh, because not only is it important for you to talk about what's been done in the past, but also focus in on where you're headed in the future. Now, you may have some individuals who will either come along with your current partners or that, um, that uh, were invited separately that may know little about your organization. So I believe it's important that in the beginning, you at least outline uh, the problem that exists in our world that your organization was created to solve. Uh, number two, I would also focus in on what is the mission of your organization, what you're hoping to accomplish. Hopefully, it's finding solutions to the problems mentioned. And then, of course, you can begin to share some of the exciting things that have happened over the year. So that's what I would be focusing in on, Brian, for your program. Um, I believe you're going to be doing a barbecue is what you shared with me. And that's extremely exciting. Uh, you've kind of taken it to the mix of barbecue and update or update and barbecue. Uh, I think that's a great way to go. And it's a real win uh, for you and for your audience as well, too. So uh, I hope this is an exciting event for you. So, Brian, 
I hope that answered your question. And for those of you who are doing events still the remaining portion of the summer or maybe new into the fall, those hopefully uh, the tips I gave will be helpful for you as well too. If you enjoyed what you heard today in this video, please check out our video library, other videos that we do in subject matter, and also be sure to subscribe to this channel. As we, as our subscriber base grows, our community grows, YouTube gets that out to more people so that more in our community can help and that will make a greater difference in our nonprofit organizations, but in the world. So I hope that you'll subscribe. If you don't follow us on Instagram, please do at uh, Dev Effectiveness Strategies. If you want to follow us out on Facebook, please go to Development Effectiveness Strategies and join our group. We put a lot of helpful videos out there. And also we're on Twitter where we can address your questions at DevFstrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. So once again, thanks so much for joining us. We're glad that we can help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. See you next week. See you also in the next video.